Hey, this is Brett, and this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler Sport Altitude Package is the vehicle I'm going around today. And I'm gonna show you everything about this Jeep Wrangler. We're gonna check out all the options. And I wanna show you something really cool with the radio on this one, as well as show you the original window sticker and give you all the specs on this particular one. Starting off with that, this one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. It's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. And this one's gonna get you 24 miles per gallon highway, 19 city and an average of 21 miles per gallon. So this is a sport package first and foremost with the altitude package on it. So I'm gonna go around this vehicle and show you everything that that entails as well as look at the original window sticker uh, and uh, show you that. So the first thing you'll notice is that you get the gloss black trim around the lights as well on, as on these inserts of the grill here, the seven slotted grill. One little Easter egg to show you is that you get the Jeep logo in the headlamps, has the normal plastic bumpers with the sport package standard and the factory fog lights. The sport package or the altitude package gives you the black gloss painted alloy wheels. These are 18 inch wheels. Note that you do get the Stingray Jeep on there. Bridgestone Dueler tires. These are 255 70R18s and these are I would say kind of an all season tire on there. Uh, one thing to note for 2023 is that they got rid of the unlimited um, nameplate on the side. It just says Wrangler with the uh, four doors now. You also get the blacked out Jeep lettering for the altitude package. Get the sandals on the plastic shroud there and the Jeep climbing up the side of the windshield. Note that you do get the T50 indicator on there that's to indicate that you need the torx wrench 50 size to get these bolts out on there we actually did a video on how to take your doors off your four-door wrangler or jl wrangler and that video is linked in the description below so definitely check that out you do get four-wheel disc brakes on the sport package let's good look at that wheel and tire Better look at the tread pattern there. Take a quick look at the back. That is your case for your hard top pieces, for the front hard top pieces. Uh, one thing to note on this one, it does have the insulated hard top, which is pretty cool. I would get that if I would order out a Wrangler. Uh, keeps it a little bit warmer as well as a little bit better noise reduction on the highway. Uh, you get three bolts on the bottom and two on the top, three on this side, total of eight bolts and two quick disconnects to get this hard top piece off. We actually did a video showing you how to do that as well. Now it's a very popular video. You can check that out in the description below. I'll link it at the end of the video as well. Door hinge bolts, roof bolts and windshield bolt holders right there too. Nice storage space back there as well. Note that all the bars are color matched. So when you do have all the doors and tops off, it looks really good. Uh, note you also get the seven slots on the back of the rear door here. You get the JL badge, which gives you two door, four door wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording and where it's made. So that's pretty much it for the outside um, styling cues for the altitude package. One other little thing you do get the gray uh, trail rated badge with the gloss black inserts also part of that altitude package uh, inside you get the black cloth bucket seats that's part of the sport package driver's seat height adjuster lumbar factory floor mats auto headlamps and power locks and mirrors here's the original window sticker feel free to pause this i'm not going to go through everything uh, but most of it uh, 2023 Wrangler four-door sport altitude, 3.6 liter, eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything on the left is your standard equipment. High velocity clear coat is 495. And the uh, paint code for that is PJF, if you were curious. And then the altitude package or 25L is 6,295 bucks. So that gives you the 18 inch by seven and a half inch gloss black aluminum wheels. The three-piece hardtop is also included in that, 
the deep tint window sunscreen windows, power heat and mirrors, remote keyless entry, the sun visor with illuminated, illuminated vanity mirrors, freedom panel storage bag, the rear window defrost, the rear window wiper washer, and hardtop headliner by Mopar. So the altitude package actually gives you that hardtop headliner, which is pretty sweet. You also get the body color grill and gloss black rings in the grill there as well, or around the headlights. Convenience group is $7.95, which gives you the universal garage door opener or the home link buttons. Cold weather group, it gives you heated seats, remote start, heated leather wrapped steering wheel, and uh, that's $13.95. The eight-speed automatic transmission is $42.50. This has the select track full-time four-wheel drive system, which is $8.95, anti-spin rear differential, Axle is $7.95, and then the Sirius XM with six-month radio subscription is $2.95. Uh, has a connected services delete credit, and your total MSRP is $52.40. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep, in the upper right-hand part of the screen, we got a link to our video. It's also linked in, or a link to this vehicle on our website. It's also linked in the description below. Three-year, 36 bumper-to-bumper, five-year, 60 powertrain. For the warranties, there is the fuel economy and then your safety ratings. So I just wanted to show you these seats real quick because I like how they go down. The old Wranglers, it's kind of a pain putting the seats down. They were really close to the front seats and the headrest kind of went up goofy. But these are way nicer and there's a lot more room. And uh, what else is nice is that these headrests do stay down when it's in the upright position which makes for better visibility if nobody's riding back here. But if you do need to put child safety seats back here, it does have the latch system. And what else is nice is there's a lot more room in the JLs, which makes it easier to put car seats in it. You do get rear window controls right there and child safety, lit, um, child safety locks on the back doors. Take a quick look at the instrument cluster here, and then I have something really cool to show you on the radio. So I'm excited to show you this because I was curious about this myself. So you do get the digital speedometer on there. Uh, that is a compass display. Remember, you get that leather wrapped steering wheel. You get the black stitching on there. I'm assuming that's part of the altitude package. You also get the cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left and audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. One thing to note real quick is that you get the kind of metallic black finish on the dash, which is really cool. And that is also part of that altitude package. Now they don't tell you that on the original window sticker, but you do get that. The other thing that I found out that they don't tell you is they don't tell you if the radio has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities anymore. Um, I'm thinking that they just assume it, that everybody knows that they that it does, but I was curious because they didn't put that on the window sticker anymore, and it does. So as you can see right now, I have Google Maps up on my phone, and I have it hooked up through the USB, and it's connected to my phone right here, and you can see that you get the Google Maps on there. So it's like I have factory navigation on the system, except it's Google Maps, which I think is a really great system. And you can do, um, you can search, you can also, and then it'll use your phone data um, to search, but you can type in, see, I'm only six minutes away. Walmart's only two miles away. So um, you can program the navigation into there. So that's, that's a really cool system. Um, and then Everything else with Android Auto, my calendar, my messages, my phone, it's all connected through the radio. So I want to show you the rest of the radio, so I'm going to unplug my phone right now. And then you have the normal 7-inch Uconnect radio. AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Heated seats, heated steering wheel buttons, as well as the backup camera. And that backup camera is nice and crystal clear and HD, which I love that they've made those. And then you have your apps. And as I just showed you, you can do Android Auto or Apple CarPlay to project your cell phone to the screen and put the navigation up there. So that's a really great system. AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Now you can do uh, volume and tune and climate controls down here or up on the radio. You also have heated seats, heated steering wheel buttons, start stop capabilities, stability control, that's your speed select control, power window buttons, 
AUGs, USB, and USB-C. You get the 8-speed automatic transmission and then the uh, part-time four-wheel drive system. Don't mind my bad phone case there. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive part-time, and then neutral for flat towing and four-wheel drive low. You also get the keyless entry on the flipper key there with remote start. Nice chunky key fob. And uh, that's what these insulated hardtop pieces look like on the front pieces. So it's kind of like a, on here, it's kind of like a foam, hard foam. Just gives you a little bit better um, insulation and noise reduction when you're on the highway. So I like it. I would get it on my Wrangler. You also get um, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. Now this one had the services delete, so it doesn't have the serious um, SOS and alert system on there. So that's what gets taken away for that credit. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Here's the original window sticker if you ever want to figure out where your uh, paint code is. It's right there, PJF. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for checking out the video. We'll do one more final walk around here. And uh, I'm glad I was able to figure out if these radios still offered the Android Auto Apple CarPlay because I was really curious about that because it didn't say it on the original window sticker anymore. And I was actually curious if the uh, deleted credit or the deleted services took away that feature, but it doesn't. So now everybody knows. Thanks for checking out the video, and to uh, see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used uh, cars, trucks, SUVs, Wranglers, Jeeps, Compasses, Cherokees, Grand Cherokees, Renegades, Wagoneers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com, as well as one of the largest new and used Jeep inventories in the state of Wisconsin. So definitely check us out there. And if you want to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to how to remove your doors on your JL Wrangler in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hard top off of your JL Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out, check out all the videos. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, thanks again for checking out this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler four-door sport, altitude package, and high-velocity clear coat. Thanks again. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate it.